my name is Joe Dunham. I'm the owner of Joace's Dog Swimming and Dog Diving, and I also have four crazy golden retrievers who you might see walking around while we film this today. I wanted to talk a minute about animal communication for me, Shannon herself specifically, and what animal communication does in my life for me. So many years ago, Goose and my mom and I headed out to Denver to a dock diving competition, and there was a ton of downtime in between those events. So upstairs at this dog show was an animal communicator. I figured I got nothing but time, why not? Let's see what she has to say. I could not believe what all this woman told me about Goose. So I took that as a great experience. So many years later, it was a part of a, a charity group for dogs and serendipity brought in Shannon and Shannon came in to help and we later became friends and now I rely on her for all kinds of stuff. So what's it like to have an animal communicate in your pocket is having someone who can actually ask your dog or your pet cat or your, your bird questions and find out what they may say. The answers could surprise you. Sometimes it takes you a while to process the answer to understand exactly what, what they may mean about it. But it's it's above and beyond going to a vet. It's, it's being able to ask specific questions to find out what they're feeling, what they need, what they think, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples. So when I first had a Shannon come out, I was so surprised of what she told me about Watson. Um, Watson is my mama golden retriever, and I took her as being really aloof. She kind of stood to herself. I really never felt like she loved me or she wanted, She just tolerated me, which kind of hurt my feelings, but I loved her anyway. And so Shannon just immediately starts talking to me about um, how amazing Watson is and how she, how seriously she takes her job and that she is the protector of the family. And it started clicking to me about how that's when I'm thinking she's aloof, she would be sitting over us one part of the yard and she's watching and she, she was, she was guarding the family. And even though I don't need her to be a guard dog, that's the role she chose. And so what I started doing was telling her, wow, Watson, thank you. You take such good care of me. And the pouring of love I got back from her, like she glows when I tell her thank you. And it transformed our relationship. We are extremely tight now because I understand her. She's not being snotty or standoffish. She's taking care of me. So I'll tell you a story recently about Torment down here. Torment, he started being loving, but at a distance. He would not get up on the couch. He would not get up on the bed. He would come to you sweetly, but so well behaved, it was weird. And I actually thought something was medically wrong with him. I, I was so worried. I went to the vet. I spent tons of money on different tests I had because you always want to rule out everything medically before you really, um, to, to really go to a communicator for something specific, especially if you're concerned about a medical thing. And nothing, they found nothing. And so of course then I'm like, okay, Shannon, when can you come talk to us? And it was amazing what he told her. He explained to her how he, as a two and a half year old male, uh, who lives in a house where we do breed golden retrievers and we kept a new little girl puppy. He didn't understand what his role was around here. He didn't understand who he was supposed to be. And you know, as a two and a half year old golden retriever male, if he were in the wild, but any kind of canine in the wild, they'd be off looking for their own family then and knowing what to do. And it's not that he wants to leave me and go find another family, but he was just really confused. And he was actually trying to be respectful of Goose. That's why he wasn't getting up on the bed and getting in our space. And so it was so amazing how different it was once he realized I wasn't as worried about him. That's what she kept, he kept trying to communicate through Shannon was to not be worried about him. He was okay, he just didn't know what to do. Since I stopped worrying him, oh my God, he was just so relieved and so happy. We're still working on all of that, but there's still some days that I can tell he's being respectful and trying to figure out his way. And other days, he's really happy because I'm not worried about him. So why would you take it, do an animal communication? Is It's honestly, it's just the next level. So if you're like me, man, we go to the vet. We, 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 we get our examinations, we get our vaccines, we take care of things. My guys are athletes, so we go to the chiropractor all the time. We go to a Chinese medicine vet as well, because a lot of times I don't want to go through regular medications and all of that. But it's wonderful to have somebody who can answer your questions for you that a vet cannot, can't necessarily answer for you. So what's it's amazing is she gives you specifics. Again, like I said, sometimes it takes time to figure out what the specifics mean, but it's, it's always a light bulb. It's like, oh, wow, that makes total sense. So if you're thinking about it, give it a try.
You may want to do it in person. You may not. To be honest, if you have a very hyper, high energy dog that makes it kind of difficult to concentrate and be able to hear the dog. I didn't really understand that until I had the opportunity to take some of Shannon's classes, which I highly recommend. They were great for me as an, as an animal trainer who works with dogs to kind of be able to slow my mind down and at least feel them a little bit. I don't have the time by any means to open up my mind and communicate to them, but I do feel like I'm more open to feeling them and you don't necessarily have to be in front of them. You could actually do it apart, but I just can't imagine what I would do without Shannon. And so uh, if you're thinking about it, give it a try.